Are you looking to monitor your stock portfolio? Then the Stocks app on your iPad has you covered. You can check on the latest stock updates, view graphs, and get an overall idea on the stock rate. If you have invested, this is the perfect and most straightforward app to use. Follow along for everything you need to navigate Apple's built-in Stocks app. Of course, you can check it out on your iPhone as well. Let's get started. To add stocks to your iPad, the first thing you need to do is locate the Stocks app. And you'll see mine is right here, but if you need to locate it, tap into the app library and you can just tap on uh, app library at the top and start typing in stocks. You'll see it you know, appear at the top. Go ahead and click on it. And now you're opened and into the stocks app. Over here where it says my symbols, if you click on those two arrows at the end, you'll see that you can have an option to create a new watch list or you can just add symbols to this watch list. Now, to add a new symbol, come up to the search bar, select it, start typing in the stock name or symbol if you know it, and when you type it in, you'll see that it appears, and if you tap on the plus sign to the left of the stock option, you can go ahead and add it to your watch list. You can click on the stock itself, and it'll bring you into this area, and you have two options. You can hit the share icon and say add to watch list, or you can just hit the plus sign, and when you do, that stock will be added to your watch list. Go ahead and tap on done. And if you scroll through your symbols at the very bottom, you should see the symbol of the stock you just added. To edit stocks inside of your watch list or rearrange them, what you'll want to do is tap on the more icon above the search bar, the circle with three dots, and then select edit watch list. Now you'll see that you have handlebars next to each stock and you can drag the stock in the order in which you would like to see it. So if you want your stocks to be at the top of this list, go ahead and just drag the stocks to the order that you want to see them. And when you're finished, go ahead and tap on done. To delete a stock from your uh, watch list, there are a couple of different ways you can do it. You can slide the option, placing your finger on the stock that you want to delete, and then slide it to the left. If you slide all the way, you'll delete it. If you slide it partially, you'll have another option. Uh, the share icon appears. If you tap on the share icon, you'll get an option to copy the link or remove from the watch list. And then the last option you have to delete your uh, stock option would be to come up to the more icon, choose edit watch list, and then tap on the red circle with the minus sign. And that's another way that you can delete your stock option. If you prefer to see your stock changes as a percentage or price difference or market cap, this can be customized as well. And every time you tap on it, it will change. So if you see this little red box underneath with the percentage change, it's letting me know that this stock lost 0.82 percentage points. If I click on that, now it's going to show me the amount of the loss, 66 cents. If I click on it again, now I'm going to see the market cap on this stock. So you can click on that box to customize your view. In the graphs view, which is to the right of the stock, you can see that you can check on the stock's progress over the last day, week, month, quarter, six months, a year, two years, five years, 10 years, and all. All you need to do is select the stock and then tap on the uh, time frame that you want to see. So if I tap on year to date, you'll get an idea of what this stock has done. If I tap on all, this is since the inception of this stock and how it has performed. 
If you want to follow your stocks throughout the day, you can quickly and easily add a widget to your home screen. So find an empty area of the home screen and just push and hold. And then at the very upper left hand corner, tap on the plus sign. Locate the stock app if you, you know, or stock widget. If you don't see it, you can search for it. I see it right here on the left. I'm going to click on it. And then you have some options. This would be a small widget, a medium widget, a large widget. And then this is just uh, one symbol that you would like to see throughout the day. So let's go ahead and for right now, let's add the large widget. I'm going to tap add widget. That will be added to my home screen. When I'm finished, all I need to do is tap on done. And now this widget will update as the stock updates throughout the day. And so you can easily see your stock options by using a widget. As you can see in this widget, you're only seeing the top six uh, stocks that are listed in the order that you have them in your watch list. So you could go in and rearrange those stocks uh, in the watch list so that you can view them in the widget. You also have the option that if I push and hold on the widget, an option appears to edit widget. If I tap on the show more details and then tap anywhere outside the widget, you'll see that now more of my stock options are shown in the widget. So instead of seeing uh, six, it looks like we're seeing 10 with an option to see 12. The stocks app will show you news related to the stocks on your watch list as they become available, along with business and finance news. Now users can get an idea of the price and future of the stock they've purchased. So if you open up the stocks app, and if you're inside a particular stock, go ahead and just click on business news on the left hand side. And now you'll see all of the business news listed, the top stories. And if you scroll down below, you'll see the stocks on the left hand side and the news related to them. So once you've added a stock, as the news on that stock is updated, it will be added to the news stories on the right hand side. Once you open a news story, you'll find some options inside. You can tap on the double A's and you'll have the option to increase the text size to make it easier to read. If you tap on the more icon, you'll get an option to share the story, copy the link if you want to send it to somebody in the messaging app. You can also save the story to Apple News, or you can report a concern. Down at the bottom, if you tap on the arrow to the right, you'll see here that you can scroll through each of the stories that are listed in the News Stories app. So that's some of your options once you click in to read a news story. The last option I want to show you is that if you want to view your watch list across all of your Apple devices, iCloud is the way to go. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and swipe out of the Stocks app. And now we're going to come into the Settings app. And we are going to scroll to the very top and tap on our name. And then we're going to go ahead and tap on iCloud and tap on show all and then scroll down until you see the stocks app. Make sure that this toggle switch is turned on. And then this is how you would sync all of your settings from your iPad to your iPhone in the stocks app. That's all there is to setting up your stock portfolio on the iPad and keeping track of your watch list across your devices. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. Good luck with your portfolio. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.